whether it's rescuing an orphan from the chaos or going down to set up hospitals for the sick and dying. Iowans are leading the way. And their heroic efforts are tonight's top story. I should really get down there, is all I said. Those simple words from ex-Marine Jake Wood's blog started an amazing movement. <laughs> He's just the most generous person I know and um, doesn't like to sit idle when um, other people are need help. That spirit drove Wood, the Bettendorf, Iowa native, to Port Au Prince, Haiti to save lives in the days following the devastating quake. And the effort quickly became a family affair. Wood's dad is helping coordinate more helpers, and his sister took over the technology front. Finally, I called my dad on Monday, and I said, Dad, move over. <laughs> Langer's now documenting the work her brother and his team are doing. Wood joined up with a group of Marines and doctors calling themselves Team Rubicon. I think each one of the men on the team sits there and types in the BlackBerry their experiences for the day. And then they send it to me, and then I post it. Stories of hope and horror. People are, you know, having limbs amputated, and all they're being given is Motrin for the pain. The work Team Rubicon is doing has generated an outpouring of support. Earlier this week, donations had reached $15,000. Tonight, they're already up to $70,000. You know, it's going to the doctors to get the doctors there, and it's going to the medicine at night. Enough money that a second Rubicon. A group of doctors and other experts are planning to head to Haiti tomorrow to join in the help against staggering odds. This little face is one example of triumph against the odds. Two-year-old Claudia is coming home to Kelowna with Bill and Lori Miner. When we spoke to the Miners earlier this week, they had just learned the toddler was expected to arrive in Fort Lauderdale tonight. I knew that it would be soon, but I didn't think it would be quite that soon. We've been unable to reach the family today oh, since they're really? traveling but they had high hopes the long process would end tonight. The miners have been trying to adopt Claudia from Haiti for more than a year. They feared the earthquake would slow things even more, but the opposite proved true. I think just for the safety of the, of the kids in the orphanages, they want to they wanna get them home and expedite the adoption process. Three families from the central Iowa city of Pello also enjoying the benefits of the set-up adoption process. After years of waiting, the families welcomed five new adoptive children Tuesday night from Haiti. The parents and kids are quickly getting to know each other, and one mom says it already feels like the Haitian children have always been part of the family. Live in the studio, Alice Barr, CBS 2 News.